In the world, you have nations. These nations, such as Germany or France, exist. They're defined by history, language, culture, and gene pool. These nations exist regardless of whatever state rules over them. If there is a state that rules over more than one nation, that is an empire. Here, if Belgium invaded Luxembourg, it would now be an empire. An empire doesn't have to be very big or even very powerful, it just has to be multinational. You know, you had the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Germany, which is much bigger um, than this new Belgian Empire, is still a nation. These nations have lands that are divided up through whatever historic, historical arrangements were made. These nations then almost always choose to erect a state. For Germany, it was many states for, for, for the longest time. And within each nation, you have little sects or little, you know, little tribes or whatever, uh, but they are all nations. Here we have France and Germany, and each dot represents some people. Both nations have erected states and agree to each exist on their own plot of land through those old historical arrangements. When one nation decides to have more children than they can support and as a result overpopulate, no other nation is obliged to let the others in. The nation of France has made a deal with the nation of Germany. They both have their own lands. Germany effed up in this scenario and France has no obligation to let Germans onto their land. Now what anarchists will tell you is that the state is invalid or immoral or something along those lines and because the state which defined the borders is invalid, all Germans should be allowed to cross the border into France. Anarchists who view the state as invalid ignore the fact that the state is a creation of the nation. The state is created to provide the context, laws, roads, defense, in which its citizens can operate. It is not always fair, and the state is not always perfect, but to say it is fundamentally invalid ignores the fact that it was created by the nation itself. The, the state is a front organization for the nation. It is a collective meeting point for the nation. The state is not the nation, but the enforcer of the nation and the state is dependent on the nation. To say a state is invalid is like saying a marketplace is invalid or that a club is invalid. A club is made up of its members and it's merely a front organization for the people in the club. The club is not its members. The club is created by the members to further the interest of its members. Just like a state is created by the nation to further the interests of the nation. The French people have land and have their own private national nation national borders. The state is the tool which enforces these national borders. If the anarchists had their way, then the nation of Germany could have as many kids as they wanted because they could just send them off to France. The French nation wouldn't be allowed to stop them because they would not be allowed to create the only tool that has proven effective, uh, an effective defense, the state. Without states, nations would not have the right to control their homeland. The state of China invaded the state of Tibet and took control. Okay? After that happened, the nation of China invaded the nation of Tibet through mass immigration. If Tibet had an open border state, then the nation of China could invade the nation of Tibet through mass immigration uh, without declaring war. The only difference uh, is where the capital would be. This is the folly of open borders, and it is the folly of anarchy. In the real world, if anarchists had their way, then the world would be given over to whichever people had the most kids. The nation of France is private property. The government of, Fran of France is a subscribed government. Anarchists are merely bitching about the fact that parents subscribe, to the subscribe their children to this government. But if a Frenchman wants out, he can go subscribe to another government, like Spain or Britain or, or, or the Belgian Empire, if, if that government will take him, of course. Anarchists are reinventing the wheel, even as they look at existing wheels and, and declare them invalid. And by my de definition, I would define the United States as an empire. So people who wish to force different nations to live under the same government can only be called one thing, imperialists. Anyone who wishes Muslims and Frenchmen to live under the same government is an imperialist. Anyone who does not support either the mass deportation of Muslims or a partition is an Islamic imperialist, 
Multiculturalists are imperialists. And in that same vein, I see anyone supporting a multicultural United States to be an imperialist. I am a nationalist, a nation nationalist.